Ashley from Not Just Boxing here with SNC coach Jordan William Vine. Jordan, how are you doing, mate? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, yeah, very good, thank you. So we've just seen Chisora and Joyce weigh in and all the undercard. You've got a few boys from your gym on there. Yeah, I've got three lads tomorrow, Archie Sharp, uh, Moses the Talma and Sean Noakes. So looking forward to it, busy night, but uh, yeah, it should be a good night. Can you tell us a bit more about the boys and what you've been doing with them this camp? Um, yeah, so like we've had quite long camps with all of them. Um, I suppose I'll start with Archie. Archie's come in and he's a person that's kind of come in and out for a numerous amount of years and we kind of worked out what we wanted to do different this fight from his last one. Um, the last two or three weeks he's kind of been doing his own thing, getting prepared, ready for this. Um, I think like this is a sort of fight that Archie's wanted and needed and you know he's very confident tomorrow. I mean his team's very confident for tomorrow, so hopefully, you know, you go in there and I think he's just going to be too slick. Um, Sean is like, he's been impeccable this camp. I can't say anything negative. Everything we've done, he's looked good, felt good. And I know his boxing coach is very happy of how he's sparred and trained as well. Um, it's a good first title for him tomorrow. Uh, I think it'll be a fight where Sean can showcase just how good he is. Um, he's so explosive. I mean, it runs in the genetics in that family. And I think sometimes Sean's been against like tuck up merchants or someone that's not really given much back. Whereas tomorrow he's going to get gaps and openings. He's so fast and explosive and, you know, we've really worked on that. So I'm sure that'll show tomorrow. And I mean, Moses don't need to say too much, do you? I mean, he's, you know, he is, who he is. Um, he's seen our coach for a long, long time. We've kind of been a little bit different this camp. Due How long to, have you been coaching him for? Uh, I coached him January when he just turned 16, so three and a half years now. Um, so we've just worked on keeping that speed in, keeping that explosiveness in. We've not really worked too much on strength this camp because his rounds have increased. Uh, with his new boxing coach as well, Ben, he's done a lot of sparring, a lot of pads and bags. And it's something that we looked at that he's so far in front with his strength and power levels. And we're really happy with him that I sort of have been a little bit more toned down this camp with him because we want him to peak, obviously, Saturday night. It's great um, to hear as an SNC coach, someone that obviously wants people to perform very well with strength, etc. It's nice to hear you obviously say that it's... You don't need to do that much, that camp. Yeah, know? like, he's, listen, he's trained three times a week for three and a half years. He's been very dedicated. He's not not been in the gym. Um, and it's something that, as you know, I'm very passionate about that I want to make sure that I produce everyone that's under my name on fight night to perfection. And I think we've done that. I mean, he's trained a bit yesterday. We do a little bit more on fight week than... A normal fight would do because he doesn't have to make weight and he likes to stay quite active. Um, but we've worked together for so long. I like to think he trusts me 100% and that's his favourite sound actually, 100%. Um, and hopefully tomorrow night, listen, he's... <laughs> I'm a strength and conditioning coach so I, I can't say what I think about boxing because my opinion's irrelevant really but I strongly believe he's going to be the best heavyweight in the world and... I think his ceiling is whatever he wants it to be. So I think tomorrow night's a good fight for him. And it's a win-win because he's a tough fella he's fighting. So if he gets 10 rounds in, he's boxed 10 rounds. If he stops him early, it's a massive statement because who he's boxed and they've not stopped him. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Do you want to address uh, from our last podcast uh, anything? Is there do anything you know you what? I shouldn't bite to these people. But do you know what it is? Because... I'm passionate what I do and I strongly believe that, you know, we're doing what other coaches and gyms are not. And I think that's what gives us the edge. Like, I've got my way of coaching and that's my way. Everyone's got different methods, but I strongly believe in what we do in our gym and everyone that comes there believes in that. So, yeah, I'm not going to do dips and I'm not. I don't care what anyone tells me. And I'm not going to do sort of old school calisthenics. That's my opinion. And it's worked very well for our fighters. We're all about range of movement, speed, stand explosive, power, and being flexible and 
ha- having great mobility. I think and where people misinterpreted what you had said with some of the Q&A questions, I think certain people thought, well, how are they going to train this certain compound movement or this muscle? Or, yeah, but you have got an alternative that you do in the gym. Yeah, I think there's better exercises for that. But listen, everyone trains different. I train every one of my fighters different. Not any fighter trains the same. There's different things that different people need to do. There is a place for all exercises, I agree. But when I've had multiple boxers that I coach get injuries from dips, well, I'm not going to do dips, am I? And when I see calisthenic movements that I think are slow and shortening, then I'm not going to do them. I will do ever exercises that I think are better for my boxers to perform at the level that they need to perform. And like, you know, if I'm just following what everyone else does and what everyone else says, and I'm not much good, am I? I've got my own theories on it and it's going pretty well. So we're going to keep doing it. Brilliant. Well, thank you for your time. Cheers. Thank you. My name is Dennis Tamanas McCann, professional boxer for Frank Moore and MTK Global. This is fortress boxing. A lot more protection, it's a no-brainer. It's around, your, around your thumbs, around your knuckles, around your wrist. That's exactly where I have the problems at. They're very compact, so I feel like I'm punching hard with them on as well. And I feel like when you were when you got a spar on 14, 16 ounce gloves, the smaller wraps can't really... They're too small for the gloves, that makes sense. So these are a bit bigger and they're getting the gloves a bit more... They're making them more compact. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. Go.